Hey guys, it's Tries here, and we're getting the most torque out of this V10 engine in automation. This is the last engine I'm covering in the V category. In the future, I'll head on to the inline category to wrap up this series. So now, let's get on with this engine build. So the first thing you gotta do on the top of portion of your screen is you set the year all the way up to the year of 2020 to maximize the performance, reliability, and everything related to the engine. And after choosing the V90 degree V10 engine configuration, you may choose any block material that you may choose from. I'm gonna select magnesium for the sake of weight. And for the family capacity for the bore and the stroke is you maximize this to 120 millimeters each to get the engine size to 13,572 cubic centimeters or round it up will equal to 13.6 liters. And we're going to be using dual overhead cam five valves and again whatever head material that you may choose from we're going to choose aluminum silicone for the sake of weight. And for the quality sliders you see right here, you have to get this in the open beta branch of automation. So with this quality slider, set this to a plus 15 for everything. No matter if it's for the engine block in general, the top end, bottom end, turbo, fuel, exhaust, for everything. For the balance shaft, you're required to have a balance shaft built in to reduce the chance the crankshaft from exploding on you. And a crank car rods and pistons use the strongest materials as possible. So for the crankshaft, we're going to be using build steel crankshaft with the car rods set to a lightweight titanium and the pistons set to a regular forged. For the compression, like always with the 4.2 version of automation, is you set this to an extreme level, max this out to a 15.0 to 1 ratio, with the cam profile set to a 54, just a couple clicks up from the usual 52, which was my magic number, but nowadays with the V10, it's not anymore. So set it to a 54, and for the springs and lifters, you set this to a fairly soft setting to a 14, and of course for the VVT, is you select VVT for all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a twin turbo setup of a smart boost system with the inner core set all the way down to zero horsepower, so no inner core whatsoever, which is kind of interesting with the meta of this game. And for the aspiration setup details, we're going to be using a variable geometry ball bearing setup with the compressor size set all the way up to 120 millimeters, the first option, the second option for the turbine set to 118 millimeters. The AR compressor trim, the third option, set to a 39. And lastly, for the maximum boost, you set this to a 34.8 PSI, right? A mark, wow. For the fuel system, it's pretty much the usual getting the most torque out of this engine, pretty much any engine that's part of the series. So we're going to be using a direct injection throttle for cylinder standard mid intake running on the dev meth fuel with the fuel mixture set to a 10.2. The ignition timing set almost maxes out to a 99. And the RPM limit, you set this just two clicks down from the default setting to a 6,000 RPM. And finally, for the exhaust and all that good stuff, watch this all covered the frame right here where you choose the turbocharged racing headers with a dual exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 197 millimeters, which equals to 7.75 inches. And we're going to be using a bypass valve is because for the buffers, so we're not going to be using a cata converter, but for the first buffer, we're going to be using a baffled buffer, and the second buffer, set this to a none, and finally, bring up that quality. And we get the final horsepower rating of 4,834.6 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, and the highlight of the video is the torque at 4,677.1 pounds feet of torque at 5,100 RPM. And right away, as you see with the pistons and car rods, they're both glowing red as we got 99% of stress being applied to these components here, which we can see at the reliability factor at the top of portion of your screen, which I'll zoom in, is that we're at a 1.4. So the engine does indeed run in automation, but in BMG Drive, the engine will have a tendency to overheat and eventually break apart with it either seconds or minutes, which is kind of unfortunate. So this part of the video, as I give you here at this engine, I'll cycle through all the main important graphs out here, starting with the power and torque, the torque of boost, the torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those graphs, I'll show you the engine as is by doing some fake gear shifts for a little while, and went off the video right there. So bring back the graph visibility and give you here at this engine right now.
pretty much revs like a Dodge Viper, but it's twice as big as the engine used in real life. And more powerful and more torquey too. So what I'll do it with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game with this torque heavy V10 engine. On a side note, I was gonna do the V6 build, but I realized that the specs of my Boxer 6 engine carries over to the V6. So if you want to make the most torque in a V6 engine, check out that video to learn how to do it. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my Automation to Beam and G Drive videos too. So this is Tri's Rising Up, and signing out.